Welcome back, beautiful family. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious and easy beef broccoli stir fry that I know you guys are going to love. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. To prepare this delicious beef broccoli stir fry, these are the ingredients. Black pepper, cornstarch, ginger, garlic cloves, brown sugar, water, low sodium soy sauce, broccoli, and beef. I have chuck roast. So let's make this amazing beef broccoli stir fry at home. So let's get started. I want to start making the spice mixture. I have three tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one cup of water, six tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, and I have two tablespoons of sesame oil. I am going to incorporate it really good and then I am going to put it aside. I have three garlic cloves that I'm going to crush, dice very well until they're really small so that they release all the amazing flavor. I'm going to go ahead, put it at this small plate, and I am going to continue with my ginger. I, I have about one tablespoon of the ginger. I am going to slice in really cut it really finely dice it really finely and i'm going to add it to the liquid mixture look at this you need to really enjoy how this smells it smells amazing oh my gosh this really comes out delicious and it's homemade even better i have strips of the chuck roast that i'm going to start slicing nice and thin nice and thin because you want this to cook at the same time and it really doesn't take too long to cook this amazing beef and broccoli stir fry i am going to continue slicing away i have about a pound and a half and here it is it's nice and done now i have my florets cauliflower florets and I'm just gonna pull them apart. And now I have everything ready to go. Let's go to the stove where I have a pan, getting nice and hot. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm going to add my broccoli florets. I am going to mix them good, add half a cup of water, cover them for about two to three minutes. And when they are nice and green, I am going to remove them from the heat. I am going to take them out, put them on a plate, because I want my broccoli to be al dente. I am going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and I am ready to add the beef. I'm gonna try and spread it all around making sure that it's only everything is nice and flat one whole layer i'm going to cook it for about four minutes on each side you have your broccoli ready you have all the spices ready in this delicious and amazing liquid and then you have your beef cooking it doesn't take too long to make this amazing dish after four minutes, I am going to start mixing one more time. As you can see, there's no more liquid. Another four minutes, and then I am ready to add the amazing seasoning. 
make sure you whisk it really good to get everything out lower your heat to medium low and let let it cook for about four to five minutes in very low heat once you incorporate it really good and it starts bubbling just like that you are going to cover it halfway leave a little space open but remember you are cooking it in medium low heat you want the meat to really absorb all those amazing flavors you want the meat to get nice and tender the aroma is just amazing i'm going to cover for about five to ten minutes and when it's ready you will know i am going to go ahead and mix it one more time the mixture is nice and thick and i am going to taste one piece if it's tender, I am ready to add the broccoli florets. I am going to incorporate and get the broccoli coated with all those amazing juices. And I am ready to serve. Turn your stove off. Incorporate all your, all your broccoli. And of course, I am going to enjoy it with homemade white rice right on the top i am going to pour the meat the broccoli and of course i am going to garnish it with some sesame seeds right on the top you decide how much sesame seeds you want to add I love sesame seeds, so I'm going to be very generous because this is the plate I am going to enjoy. If you liked and love this recipe, leave me a thumbs up. Share this video on social media so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. I'll see you in just a little bit. this amazing and delicious beef broccoli stir fry. This is the part I love and enjoy tasting my recipe. Of course, I added white rice, homemade, and excuse me. Mmm, mmm. Amazing. Let me tell you, the meat is so tender. It really absorbed all those amazing flavor. The broccoli is al dente, just exactly how I love it. This came out delicious and my home smells amazing. If you liked and love this amazing recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push the notification bell and if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make an amazing recipe, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love i love you guys thank you for being here thank you for being part of cooking with gloria like subscribe and share and see you on my next amazing recipe bye bye